Hello there. In the last video, I showed you how to find the mean and standard deviation of the following distribution by hand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to get the same results. So let's get our calculator up. Here we have a Casio calculator. If you have a different type of calculator, you will have to look up your instructions to see exactly how to use it. First of all, we need to select our stats mode. So we go mode and 2 for stats and then 1 for 1 var. Now you see here we only have one column for our variables. What we want though is we want a second column which has got frequencies in it. So we need to select the frequency and we need to go into the setup here which is also in the mode button but it is in yellow so it's shift and then mode. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. How to turn on the frequency. OK, first select Shift and then hit Setup and then we need to scroll down to select the option we want and you'll see it's number 3 for Stat and it allows you to turn on the frequency with number 1. So we do that there. So here you see I've labelled this Turn On Frequency. That's the first thing to do. Now that we have our frequency turned on, we can then go and enter our data. So the next step is to go mode 2 for stat, 1 for 1 var, and there we have our table set up. And now we can enter the data. So the first variable is 0, and hit equals. You'll notice that the frequency defaults to 1. I can go in and change that afterwards. So let's put in my second variable, which is 1 and equals, and then 2 and equals, and 3 and equals, and 4 and equals. And now I'm going to enter in my frequencies. So you can use a scroll button here. You can scroll up and across. And if you need to edit any data, if you've entered it wrong, you can use that scroll button to highlight it and, then, and change it. So now my first frequency is 2 and equals. And then I have 3 and equals, 5 equals, 3 equals, and the last frequency 4 occurs twice. So let's just make my key log bigger and I'm going to label this as entering data so that you can see it all there. So now that we have our data entered the next step is to find out the mean and the standard deviation of this distribution. So let's scroll up here. So we hit AC which is all clear and that allows us to bring up the menu we want. So AC and then shift and 1, which brings up this menu which says stat. We want number 4. And X bar, which is the second from our list, is the mean. So we hit number 2 and equals. And we see that our mean is 2. So this is the mean here, how to find it. And I've written that X bar is equal to 2. And now we find the standard deviation. So again, we clear the data. That's AC for all clear. We hit Shift and 1. Brings up this menu. Number 4 again for VAR. And this time we want option 3 for Sigma X, which is the standard deviation. And we hit Equals. And we get 1.211. So just to summarize, first of all with a frequency distribution like we had here where we're asked to find the mean and standard deviation we need to first turn on the frequency. Those are the steps there for it. Let's scroll down. We can then enter our data with the frequencies and then we can find the mean 
and the standard deviation, which turn out to be 2 and 1.211 respectively. Now I just want to show one more example what you would do in the following situation. In this example, we're asked to estimate the mean and the standard deviation of this frequency distribution. Now what's different about this frequency distribution is that the variables are intervals, as you can see here. Also, note this, that we were asked to estimate the mean and the standard deviation, not to calculate it. The reason for this is that we have to estimate the variable, so we use a mid-interval value. In this case, the mid-interval of 0 to 20 is 10, and from 20 to 40 is 30, and so on. These then become the x values that we can enter into our frequency distribution in the calculator. I'll demonstrate. OK, first of all I'll enter my data. So we go mode, 2, 1, and now you can see we enter our data. So for our x value we hit 10, and then equals, and we can scroll across and enter our frequency as 14, and then equals. Next we enter 30 and equals and its frequency is 22 and the next variable is 50 and equals and its frequency is 8 and 70 equals and its frequency is 13 we can put in our frequency here and we can edit that value which is 90 now we have our data in we hit AC we hit shift 1 4 for var, 2 for x bar, and we see that our average is 40.49. And hit AC, shift 1, 4 for var, and 3 for sigma x, and we see that our standard deviation. 24.72 and we'll leave it at two decimal places. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you'll join us for the next one.